Hey guys, hey girls, hey boys. So for today's video, I am doing a 15 minute spring makeup look. Um, I say 15 minute because it took me more like 17 minutes. I kind of had a malfunction, you guys will see in the video. And the lips take a lot longer than I thought. But yeah, in this video, I am going to be doing a very quick, very easy, fresh spring makeup look. And it is within 15 minutes, so you can get this look within 15 minutes or 17 minutes if you want to do lips because that's what kind of slowed me down. You guys have seen the video. Also, um, once I start this video, you guys will see that I have a new intro. So comment down below or give this video a thumbs up if you guys like that intro. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so I don't know if this looks different, but I'm currently filming on a different camera because my other one was dead. So... Hopefully this looks okay. I don't know. But I am going to try and get this makeup tutorial um, done in under 15 minutes. That's a little tricky because it usually takes me around like 30 minutes. But I think I can do this because it's very simple, very easy. If it's not under 15 minutes or if it's not 15 minutes, it's okay. It'll be like 20. So let's get the show on the road and let's try this. First, to prime the face, I'm going to use my Smashbox Primer Water. I am almost out of this, or I technically am out. I have a little bit left. But that's a good thing because Nicole Concilio recently just collabed with them and made scented ones. So I'm like hella excited to try that out. So I'll be going to buy one of those soon. Okay, can't talk too much if I want this to be like under 15 minutes. Since this is like a spring fresh face tutorial, I do want to look glowy. So I'm going to take this little itty bitty tiny uh, Max Drove Cream and put that on the high points of my cheeks where I usually would like glow. You know what? I'm just gonna like rub it everywhere. It smells hella good. Okay, and then take my beauty sponge and just put that in. Now for the foundation. This is a new one that I'm trying. It is a Maybelline Superstay full coverage foundation up to 24 hours. I am not sure if that's true because after this, I'm gonna go to sleep. So, um, I don't know, but I heard a lot of good reviews on this. So hopefully I picked up the right color. This is in the shade 220-220 natural beige. So let's see how this works. Oh, okay. Maybelline stepped up their game a little bit and added a pump, which is good because the other ones like to fit me, you would literally have to pour it out and that was just like too much. So, let's go ahead and try this baby out. It might be a little too dark for me, but I'm gonna just blend it down my neck. Oh, is this a matte foundation? Super stay full coverage. I don't know if it's matte. Okay, this is definitely full coverage. And I usually have redness around like right here. So once I put this on and when I use foundation, once it covers that, I know that the foundation is full coverage because not all foundations and concealers can cover that redness. It definitely is matte. I don't see no dewiness going on. So that is pretty good because springtime is like when it tends to start getting warmer. Well, at least here in California, like it'll be freezing in the morning. By the end of the day, it's like freaking 100 degrees. So this will probably be a good foundation for the heat because you don't want to be like wearing a dewy foundation and just going to get extra dewy with your sweat. So definitely go and pick this baby up and try it out. If you haven't already, I'm already loving it. Okay. Now for concealer, I am taking my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This is an oldie but a goodie. I used to use this stuff all the time. I don't know why I stopped. I kind of went towards the Fit Me Concealer, but then... I am back now. And then I kind of just go crazy, <laughs> put it everywhere. Especially for the spring, you want to look super fresh and wide awake. So that's why I tend to use a lot more concealer. Well, I mean, I always use a lot of concealer, but I mean, the spring, you want to look extra bright. Okay, so we're at five minutes right now. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that 15 minute. Maybe we'll do 20. 20's not that bad, right? I will definitely not pass that five minute makeup challenge. I'll be looking like trash. Okay, 
So now to set my face, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder. I have not used this in such a long time because I've been trying out all these new powders. So I am back. I'm not really going to bake, just pretty much take the powder on my beauty sponge and set under my eyes as well as the rest of my face. And I like to just set my face with the beauty sponge. Like so. And then after I do that, I like to go in with my Morphe E41 brush and then just pat some more powder. And brush it away. Okay, so now for the bronzer, I am taking my baby MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. This is my holy grail bronzer. I love it so much. And I use it all the time. And I'm taking my Morphe M104 brush. So we are almost done. Not really though. And then I'm going in with my Morphe M527 brush. And then if the bronzer is looking too harsh, just go in with the beauty sponge. Bounce it in. Okay, so now for the blush, I'm going in with my Anastasia blush kit and taking this peachy shade right here using my Urban Studio stippling brush. I'm going to do something very minimal for the eye, so I'm going in with my Carly Bible palette and just taking this orange shade right here and placing that into the crease just to give my eyes some dimension. And then also going into this brown shade right here. And I'm using a BH Cosmetics blending brush. And then I am going to take the orange shade and just place that all over the lid. Now going back to the face, I'm going to highlight using my Fenty Beauty Hustle Baby highlight and taking my Morphe 3 M310. M310 fan brush. Yes. Ooh, girl. You want to look extra glowy, especially during the springtime. And then go back in with my Morphe M510 because I did it a little harsh. Same highlight and putting it on the brow bone. You know what, if you're in a rush and you feel like your makeup is a mess, just put some highlight and I promise you, you'll look fine. And then taking some setting spray, I'm going to spray my pointy brush, take some more of Hustle Baby and put that on my inner corner. And also, really quickly, going back into those two shades and dusting it on my lower lash line. Got them running out of time. Oh my god. Pause. Let me pause the timer. Pause, 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 pause. Okay, I'm at 13 minutes. I need to get my mascara. Okay. So I have 13 minutes. Press start again. Let's see if I can do this. Oh my god. Lashes take time. Okay, I'm gonna curl them. Take my Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit. I have like one lash extension left. Oh my God, so irritating. Oh my God, okay, I have 37 seconds. Oh my, oh my, 30 seconds, oh my God. Definitely did not make the 15 minute mark, but I am technically done just doing the lips, so you can do this probably like in the car or whatever. So let me just go ahead and finish the lips. It takes me like hell long to line my lips, so that's why it's like just gonna add hell time. But I'm using my Morphe Coffee and Kissy Lip Liner. And then to set my face, I'm using my Morphe Setting Spray. All right guys, so that is all for today's video. As you can tell, we kind of conquered the 15 minute uh, spring makeup look. Um, more like 17. But you know, it's because the lips took a little long. It takes me a while. So if you want, you can just throw on some chapstick, throw on a tinted lip balm, whatever you want to do. And you got yourself a 15 minute spring makeup look. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like how it came out. It's just very simple, very glowy, very fresh. That is exactly the look that I was going for. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below which you would like to see in the future. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my Angel's channel, which is Emanate Forever Ever. Stay blooming, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.